repeat. And so we end with this. To me, an absolute masterpiece. The Caretaker. Also known as The Guest, The Caretaker is a 1963 film adapted for screen by Harold Pinter, writer of The Caretaker play in 1960. It is a three-hander about two brothers who live in a London flat, who take in a sometimes confused down and out, played by Donald Pleasance. But he might well be the sanest of the three. The film takes place almost entirely within or around Mick and Aston's grotty little flat, available in 2024 for 2800 per calendar month. Very little action occurs in The Caretaker. It's a talky play, focusing on the characters, their dynamics, and creating a uniquely bizarre tone. I think I'm coming to the conclusion that you're an old rogue. You're nothing but an old scoundrel. No. Uh, oh, when, Mrs. Sonny, you stink. You went, got you're stinking the place out. And, of course, you'd need a few brushes. You'd need, uh, implements. You'd need a good few implements. Yes. Oh, it's a terrible thing to have to say about your own brother. No. He's just shy of it, you see. He's very shy of it. I know that sort. You know the type. I haven't met him. Essentially funded by the filmmakers and people around them, director Clive Donner and writer Harold Pinter struggled at first to secure a budget or even get the film distributed because it was considered commercially non-viable. It is, after all, quite hard to define. It has comedic moments, but it is not a comedy. It has constant tension and often swells of dread, but it is not a horror. The characters are conflicted and unsure of each other, but it is not a thriller. It's one of those lovely films where nothing really happens, and yet for me, it is crammed with astute observation and often tender representation. Who's Nutty? Would you call my brother Nutty, eh? Only like it out of a thin glass. I had a few sips, but I couldn't finish it. I'll see what I can look out for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. The writing, as you might expect, is really second to none, and the careful and considered cinematography by Nicholas Roeg, who later directed and photographed Walkabout, along with the disconcerting, not quite a score, score, all contribute to a low budget but highly polished work of art. But the standout aspect of The Caretaker is surely the performances. All three actors are fantastically convincing, but Robert Shaw's performance is particularly powerful, so much so, I'd probably say it's some of the best screen acting ever captured. They used to come round with these. I don't know what they were. They looked like big pincers with wires on. I knew they had to get me back on the bed because if they did it while I was standing up, they might break my spine. So I stood up. I've often thought of going back and trying to find the man who did that to me. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good Christmas, Kwanzaa, Jubilee, whatever the hell you're doing. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting around in my underpants like usual. But whatever you're doing, have a nice time. I'll be back in January with more zany TikTok videos or whatever the hell it is I do. See you then.